Hey, Researcher 62. That's Explorer 62. Well, you know, I'm dyslexic. Hello, 61. What brings you by today? Oh, I don't know. Just feeling down. What has you feeling this way? I guess. I'm just not feeling this whole radius thing anymore. Why do you think that is? It's just so much of the same. Gray ash, and charcoal bodies, and everything trying to kill me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. It's just not fair. Being stuck in here. Everyone else gets to go on and live their lives. I think I know what you need. You do? What's that, you crazy psycho? Um, I'm going to let that slide. You need to get out, smell the roses, bond with nature. But everything out there is dead or dying. There's a place filled with beautiful flowers. The smell is intoxicating. It will cleanse your soul. Where is this place? It's a huge greenhouse filled with wonder. I'll give you directions. Thanks, 62. You're welcome, 61. Welcome to Spike Plays Into the Radius. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, this is a this is my journey through the game. I don't have any mods uh, normally. I'll clarify that in a second. I don't have. Uh, I don't really look up any gameplay. I don't look up any of the stuff we haven't done yet. I may go back and watch some older stuff, uh, some security levels, maybe even some older stashes. Um, at least I used to. I, I found all the numbers 1 through 12. Um, I re bring up stashes because today we're going to be going back into the Kolkhoz, Kolkhoz, the K, the KZ zone. You know what? That's what it's called from now on. KZ. We're going to the KZ. <laughs> so we're going to go there and we're going to look for a mission. We're going to complete a mission. But map. But map. We got a mission here. This sounds like a fucking nightmare. Um... It's not missions. 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 Marauder number four. The explorer's labor is highly valued by the UNPSE. You have been selected to retrieve the data collected by your predecessor in a hazardous area. Locate the facility and deliver their wristband to the... Locate the place and deliver their wristband to the facility. Sorry, red facility in, in the... Where place is. Bring the bracelet. So we're looking for a bracelet. $1,200 reward. It has come to... We have two days. It's come to my attention that we have to complete these little side missions before we can move the story forward. So we've got some some stashes. I think I already got one of these. Let me see here. You'll find a stash inside a stove. The bloke and me, uh, luckily we managed to recover his memory. You'll find a stash inside the stove in a wooden hut called the KZ. There's a UAZ parked nearby. Should be easy to spot. I have no idea what a UAZ is. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I have no idea what a UAZ is. This one here is, sorry you got bad, an Anomaly 21. In the Anomaly 21. An in the Anomaly, comma, 21. Talking to Explorer 21. The good news is a stature gun in call KZ. Look for the power panel behind the blue fence right outside the greenhouse. We will be going here to the greenhouse. We're going to take this along with us. So we can reference back to it. So we're looking for a blue fence and a power panel. I'm taking your artifacts as delivery fee. Wow, what a dick. Uh, and then the last one here is, uh, note to self, come back for the stash under the bridge over the stream in KZ before it gets rusty. My God, there's like a ton of little bridges over the stream. Let's see if that makes any sense based on the map. See, I mean, there's a big old river runs through it. 
there's the big bridge. I wonder if this is the big bridge. I wonder if this is that, that big bridge right there. No, because... No, it could be. Unfortunately, that's where the BTR likes to run around, so that's going to be risky. But we'll take that one too. We'll prioritize this one since we kind of have a better idea. But we'll try this one as well. We'll see if we can get some of these stashes. I'm not going to do any whole videos on stash hunts, kind of like if we're in the area, we're going to do it. Uh, I was told uh, by my good friend SKDC, but I hope you're still around with us. I didn't, as of this recording, I didn't see you post anything on the last video. So um, we're getting near the end of this journey, and I would really love to have you uh, here for that. Like, I would really love to have you on board while we complete up this whole storyline you've been here for a long time you've really helped me out give me a lot of great i mean everybody's really been helpful um crystal if you're still around crystal just say hi in the comments just let me know you're still around uh, i know uh julie slash jason is jason is still here uh, obviously adult gamer by the way he's got a great channel he's starting to get some stuff rolling on there so uh, once he starts posting regularly especially go ahead and subscribe and get ready for that maybe turn on notifications and uh, once he starts posting you guys will start getting notified and you can go check it out always support smaller st streamers if you can and 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 the severely injured apparently my <laughs> Set. Why is that? Why is dressing mode? Is that what that does? You know what? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I had no idea that was dressing mode. I'm always doing the hold the button thing. Jesus. You freaking learn something new every day. So, anyways, that aside, uh, I was told that. Uh, some might like my longer rambles at the beginning, so I'll try to keep them to a minimum so we can get to the action. Maybe I'll ramble as we're out in the zone. Um, get back in the real world here. I'm going with a different loadout. Well, I kind of spoiled my, I got ahead of my story here. Taking this guy out. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of game time or any game time really to spend tweaking this or, or checking it out, but the scope on this thing is insane. Uh, I, I basically looking at the one of the walls down there I can see a like a speck of dirt when I zoom it in not even all the way that's how powerful that thing is it's it's insane um, like the, the magnification on there and unfortunately shaky hands this might not be a great idea I'm taking this guy I got a full magazine I got three more magazines down here for it so um, I got plenty of ammo I got 60 rounds of sniper ishi ammo if this sucks I just don't have any good luck with it. We'll come back and sell it and we'll see what else we can purchase. So I talked about mods. I only have two mods and I've just done these as of this video. This is the better, I'll show you the other mod. This is the, the better visor. That's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, I gotta put that down first. Wait, can you activate? Oh, you can while you're holding stuff because while you're holding stuff, the button doesn't work. But that works. Look at that shit. All right. So this is the helmet I'm wearing now. It's kind of a play on heavy uh, full metal jacket, the movie, um, with the bullets up here, and then, you know, kind of the interesting little card with an interesting little creature. I think that's supposed to be like one of the squid worms, but it's an ace, it's an ace in a hole. So yeah, that's gonna not, you're not gonna see the helmet thing bouncing at the top of the screen anymore. I think to, for me, that was really not cool. But this one, look at this. You're not looking through the stupid little eye anymore, right? You're, you're able to see more of the area around and everything. I think that's fantastic. And for me, this open visor is perfect. It's perfect. So I really like that mod. It's just a simple mod. It's really simple to mod this game. I really love that. I've never really did it before. I was trying to play this game vanilla. Um, but again, watching the videos back, <sighs> watching the videos back, um, uh, the helmet sitting up here was just literally now you shouldn't see hardly anything or anything at all one thing I, i've discovered is, and just in my defense of not being not spotting things sometimes uh, i play with glasses so i have a spacer in here which moves the visor out further in front of me so it unfortunately kills some of the peripheral and i've noticed in some of my videos when i've looked at stash hunts or even older videos i've actually had like something right there, but I'm looking that way. I can just barely make out what's there. I'm looking this way. My eyes are all focused dead ahead because of glasses, right? So that's how sometimes I'll, I'll walk. I do this in Half-Life Alex. If you haven't seen any of those, you'll sometimes see me just in the peripheral. You'll see like a glowy resin or 
a magazine full of ammo just sitting right there. And people are like, look, dude, right there. And I don't see it because of the extension away from my eyes and the glasses. Uh, it, it, it kills my field of vision more. So I spend more time doing this. Sorry for anybody getting motion sick. I apologize. should have warned you. But I end up more times having to look as it turned physically to look in directions versus just kind of relying on that peripheral vision. Anyways, that's a long-winded nothingness story. Yeah, so um, I'm a little weighted down already, but the idea is I'm going in to complete missions, to move the story forward, not to loot necessarily. So I've got my gun, I've got four magazines, full mag in here, a box of 194 plus P rounds. We're gonna kick some ass with that. I've got two more boxes of ammo. I don't think I need these. How much is these weigh? Should I get rid of these? Yeah, it's only a third of a pound or a kilogram. Actually, that's... Uh, all right, we'll go dump it over here. I got to do something about the weight. It's a little obnoxious, a little obnoxious. I just got a lot of magazines. I'm not bringing any extra ammo for the M9. I'm sorry, M9. Jeez. This is an M9. This big, beautiful baby is an M4. We got, we got this for snooping in those private dark little areas where those little fuckers like to hide. I mean, that is one powerful little gun light. And we got that for my shaky hands and my inability to see through the sight. I also have this sight on, so that's kind of cool. And they line up pretty good with the green dot. Uh, different distances, different things, but that's okay. Yeah, that didn't really help with the weight that much. The backpack thing is really annoying. I hope in the next uh, 2.5 point whatever, or even 2.6, that they they fix some of the stuff. The the backpack stuff likes to just fly around the backpack. How's my knife? Oh, that's not great. All right, well, I'll only use that for the final touches on those guys. Uh, I don't know if I need that. I mean, I, I'll bring it. It doesn't really weigh much either. Yeah. I think it's all the ammo. Each one of these guys is a quarter, just under, just over a quarter kilogram. And I got a bunch of them. So there's probably about three pounds right here. I, I think it's the weaponry. I think this beast of a thing. Yeah, that's six kilograms. <laughs> like I said, if this doesn't work out, uh, it may be a mistake. What if I go, I leave this beautiful baby behind. And I used that for long range, and I used a pistol for close in. And I keep a spot open, and I get my weight reduced. So bear with me guys for a second here. I want to see if this is really worth it or not. I just want to see how much of a weight reduction we are actually talking about here. You come, you come to Papa. You extra magazines go here. We're not going to need the extra ammo. I'm going to regret that. I should guarantee it. Bet you right now, someone watching this is going, dude, that was stupid. You're going to be sniping all kinds of shit and taking random pot shots at the stuck BTR because that was hilarious. If you haven't watched the last video, please go back and watch that. Again, I don't know, I don't know who's watching the videos fresh. Yeah, you can just see the weight, like movement. I'm going to check missions, and uh, now I, I usually do all this stuff before I play. If you haven't seen me do all this, like to run around, get the missions, get the equipment, make decisions on what I'm going to do. Uh, it was kind of suggested to me that, that people like that, that maybe, you know, would... <sighs> English, with the ability to skip chapters, and I'll put chapters to skip all this stuff, that some people might want to just hang out and just kind of listen to me ramble on and talk and stuff like that. I don't want to be short, man, all of a sudden. Why am I short? Okay, this is all factory... Oh, son of a bitch. See, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to just get missions to push me forward into the next... Sorry, I got some weird stuff going on with my barrier, my boundary here. My guardian is popping up like crazy for no reason. See, I don't care about money as much. Uh, a lot of times these places have pretty good money. The missions provide a decent amount. If I find any good loot, I'll just carry it. Um, nah, I just don't feel it. I just don't feel those missions. All right, so we're just going to go to the one we have. Uh, I feel like I want to take another 
like 17 grenades. I was warned that the greenhouse is a thing. <laughs> Stop that. Man, in a time of trouble, I'm going to need that. Now, I found that sometimes if you put the backpack away manually and then retrieve it, it remembers where everything stays. Where sometimes if you just walk away and let it go, you know, disappear into the ether by itself, it doesn't seem to do that. So I don't, I don't know if that's true. I'll test it throughout the play and I'll see, you know, move some random stuff around, walk away, and then wham. Oh, it stayed this time. See, that's, oh no, but look, that ended up moving. So if I do this, with the, uh, Noise finished, you know, and now the grenades over here. See, it does, so it doesn't seem to matter. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a, that is a dangerous glitch because you get in the middle of like trying to get stuff out of your backpack and do stuff and everything, and all of a sudden shit's going going down. So let's do this. No, no, no. I got one on the chest. Pop, toss. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so if you just jump ahead to this chapter point. We are going out to the KZ zone. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. We have a mission here to go get a wristwatch. I've heard this place is a nightmare. Um, someone told me it was a friendly pest, actually. I'm going to pimp his channel now and take the opportunity to do that. It warned me that he wasted 300 plus rounds of ammo just there alone. I thought the train yard was bad. It sounds like the greenhouse is by far worse. <laughs> what my plan is, I'm going to come around here I'm going to come across the river. There's a point where I can cross. Uh, maybe we'll sneak down to the end here and check that bridge for one of those uh, stashes, right? But anyways, get across, go up on top of this hill, get some high ground, and then shoot any mimics I can from on top. Once I've cleared the ground as much as I can from up here, then I'm going to infiltrate the base. There's a couple couple places to infiltrate it at. And then uh, breaching the greenhouse, which is going to be fun. Meanwhile, BTR dude likes to kind of circle around, comes across here. I think this is his entire route. So he doesn't go around the other side of the of the greenhouse. So if as long as I stay on this side of it, I think we'll be okay. Oh, you know, the best, oh, how much time I got? How much time I got? Two hours. Two days, four hours. Enough time to die horribly. Also, before I go out, I just wanted to let you guys know my plan is... Thank you. My plan is to uh, talk about topics. I'm going to try to stay to positive topics. Uh, this last video and uh, maybe the last one or two Half-Life videos were pretty... pretty negative. My last Half-Life video, I'm not proud of the last, that last Half-Life video, Half-Life Alex. Um, I had a person come into my chat and I promised myself I would never do it again, and I did it again. I let someone get under my skin, and I don't necessarily know they intended to, right? That's the problem. I don't understand their motivation. So I, I assigned it a characteristic of my choosing, which may have nothing to do with them. <laughs> Anyways, let's zone and let's see what kind of nightmare awaits us here. So that's, that's something I'm gonna try not to do anymore. All right, well, we're gonna have a couple bad guys, I'm sure. Yeah, down at the end there, down by that bridge, which doesn't have the water. The bridge with the water. Usually there's a squiggly worm kind of causing trouble around here. Yeah, see, I'm already walking slow. So this is definitely, so that's the, for those who don't know the map very well, this is the greenhouse right here. Yeah. I already, so the problem with the, uh, the sniper gun, it has no silencer, nor does it have the option of a silencer. That bridge, that bridge, I think, is the bridge in, in the, um... oh, yeah, hey, squiggly worm. Oh, and a teleporter. What's that, dude? That's a commando. All right, so. Dude, look at this dude. He teleported all the way down by the stream. Looks like an armored guy. Okay, so I've got an armored guy. What the 
fuck is that? Who walks like that? That's one of the zombie guys. They're walking really fast. Man, that bridge area is freaking crazy busy. All right. Let me get into some cover here. Yeah, again, this has no silencer on it. So when I fire this thing, everything in the world is going to come a call. But that's okay. We'll take them all out here. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. That's a police officer. All right, stop moving, my friend. Hearing those shots. He's literally ignoring them. Sneaking up on me. I see you sneaking up on me. Yeah, this is. We've got closer distances. Everything would come a calling, but I didn't think it'd be that crazy. <laughs> oh man, welcome to KZ. <laughs> I brought plenty of health just for this reason. Uh, I gotta find a better strategy for my empties. Let's get them up there. Is that really empty? That's not empty. All right, now you're ready. time guys I'm, I know don't reload don't reload I'm just gonna reload because these guys don't spawn there's no spawner here for them so nice. whoa Keep a better eye out, because uh, they're sneaky little fuckers. All right, fully loaded. How is that down already? Come on. Come on. Dude, we got a long way to go, and we haven't even left the starting area. <laughs> we haven't even gotten down there yet.
supposed to be. Fully loaded, fully loaded. Only went down two mags. Got plenty of nine millimeter. All right, I'm gonna do a quick maintenance. I'm not gonna show it. I had a brush. I had a brush, and the brush is gone. Okay. That is a thing. I'm gonna have no guns left by the time this is over with. The good news about the loud guns is it brought everybody out. So I'm gonna run along here a little bit. I kind of had that plan in mind. It worked sort of. Am I hungry already? All right, so there's the bridge. There's our greenhouse. I'll go down to the bridge and look for the stash. Got to keep an eye out for the BTR because he's going to come along here. He comes along this bridge. He hangs out over here for a little bit. Another teleporter down there. I just saw him flash. Worm. I'm surprised I don't see the BTR yet. Alright, so let's go down. Let's check over here. to show his face. I don't see the light for him. Oh, my suppressor is completely dead. <laughs> I did not, I did not realize that. I spent all the money on that FAL. Ah, oh, yes. No, nope. we'll take it. But... I don't smoke anymore. But I used to. So even virtually, the smoking definitely seems to help. Uh, I hear another squiggly worm out here. I wish I just knew what a BTR was. Now I hear a BTR. I got a feeling our bridge here is going to be the thing. So as soon as that BTR leaves, He should turn this way. That's usually what he does. Yeah, there he goes. Right, just gonna wait here for a little bit. Let him do his little searchy search thing. So 
what I was going to talk about while we're waiting for... Uh, For that guy to go. Um, I was going to talk about uh, life a little bit, talk about discipline. Um, but, but on top of all the different catchphrases and single words is the word independence. I wonder if anybody. Yeah, independence is a big deal for me. I don't know what he's shooting at. He's shooting at me? That time he was shooting at me. <laughs> Whew. 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 That was death. I don't know why he's still shooting. down the road. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my suppressor was that bad of shape. Bridge over the stream. Let's see if there's a stash here. The real question is, do I have to swim for the stash? Unarmored guys like that are around. Uh, there's a bunch of shit on that side. Let's take a let's go that way. There's nothing on this side that I can see. Oh, hey, dude. Right, this is seriously crazy because that's gonna expose me right to the BTR if he comes around again. Oh, Katya! over the stream. Hey, my friend. I don't want to use this unless I have to, because... I have to do some more of that fancy jumping.
you gotta say. I used to come to the river to think. Mm. Being near water helps sort things out, you know? Yeah, I know. The last time I was here, I was thinking about my little sister. Mm. She'd fallen in with a bad crew. Sasha was just a few years younger than me, but so, so different. Moody, rebellious, always drawing instead of doing her schoolwork. And she loved rock music. My sister didn't even get a chance to grow out of her angsty face. She could be so annoying, but I miss her. The mop of chestnut curls, the crooked smile, her drawings. She was talented. Yes, I miss her terribly. Alright guys. And Halitosis breath. I love this zone at night because it's still very bright. You can still see everything. Again, thanks for the suggestion on that one. I think that was Drakshala. So yeah, what I was talking about before, <coughs> what I was talking about before was uh, independence. Now, I was taught from a young age to be very independent. I was doing my own laundry. This is not a brag. This is in no way, shape, or form is a brag. This is a statement of fact, right? This is just who I was and how I was raised. And, and I always appreciated that. I don't have the best relationship with my family. Long story, not gonna go into it. But I always appreciated the independence that I was taught, that I was pushed on me, that I was, that I was uh, the, uh, the notion that I should always try to be as independent as possible. Um, and what is independence? Let's talk about that. So independence is essentially what it sounds like in every single definition of the term. You are able to do something uh, on your own, right? You're autonomous in that respect. You can handle yourself. So most adults who, who've made the right decisions, who push themselves into a career that pays decent, um, didn't put themselves seriously in debt, any of that kind of stuff, made themselves independent. What does that mean? But well, they don't have to be a sniper. They don't have to rely on anybody to um, tell them what to do and how to dress and bills to pay and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, do their laundry for them, you know, any of that kind of stuff. This isn't, let me qualify that a little bit here later, but for right now, just go along with me on this one. So the idea is that basically you try to do as much as you can for yourself. And that's independence, right? You don't need another person. Now, there are exceptions to this. I understand that. There are people who have conditions, who have symptoms, who have mental issues and that kind of stuff, physical issues, and have to rely on other people. That's, that's not who I'm talking about here. I'm talking about people who are reasonably healthy. Right? Reasonably... Oh, there he is. I'm surprised he hasn't seen me yet. Nope. He just saw me. I saw him crouch. Um, reasonably healthy people. People who can take care of themselves. People who who should be taking care of themselves and choose not to. The reason why that's important is because you never have to worry about someone else doing the thing for you. God damn it. That's pretty good shots, aren't they? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Ah, that's who's shooting at me. see me that's why I'm backing up wow that was horrible gameplay guys if you came here for good, good gameplay you're not you're not gonna get it you're just not gonna get it man it's like I can't even get into zone before I have to even worry about 
all the stuff going on in there. All right. Since I've already fired an unsilenced weapon. Pick up the fucking weapon! Good gravy, guys. This game. Now, last time, I'm not taking the death on that one. I'm not taking that on my skills. I literally tried to reach for every weapon I had. And it just, nothing was coming to my hand. Like, literally nothing. Alright. I'm just getting all kinds of glitchiness. My hands are bouncing everywhere. I see you. Okay. That fucking blue. Last time, Commando was making his way up, and that's who murdered me. Plenty of shots. Trying to let that commando come to me so I can deal with him up here, independent of that sniper down there. Maybe this is the wrong avenue. Maybe this is the wrong choice to make. See the commando coming up, so They're going to come to the last sound, is what I understand. This guy over there doesn't appear to be responding to the gunfire. The grounds look clear. It's interesting. If I can get in position over here, I might be able to snipe that guy. And we'll see what other stuff that attracts. One day, seven, seven hours? Seven hours. Not too bad. Hey, where'd he go? I really wish I'd spent more time the sniper weapon. Okay, I see a guy in the yard. 
Let me pull back a little bit here. Sorry, this is not exciting gameplay here, guys. Just trying to be careful because this zone is dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what the entrance is that they're coming through. Let's see if we can take this guy out. <sighs> okay, I officially like this weapon. place. I see you little fuckers. I see you. to come through. Oh, look at that guy through the window. <laughs> I can't shoot him. I can shoot you, though. Good. Okay, he's gonna come to that, that opening over there. All right, now they're too close for that. I not this. Alright guys, well, the sniper weapon's working out, sort of. When I get into close engagements, I can't seem to bring the gun into accurately to accurate bearing, so I'm not sure what the best plan here is. I don't think this loadout's really working very well. It's like going slow and easy thing. I think we're going to have to start getting aggressive. Or at least sneakily aggressive? I don't know if that makes any sense or not. fucking hit that guy to save my life. Yeah, and shooting all these shots is just dumb. Yep, because here comes the calling. Here comes the here comes the welcome you party.
Okay, guys, sorry for being so quiet. Um, man, getting in here was a fucking nightmare. Now that I'm in here, I don't think the nightmare's over. Just hoping to get some healing here before the rest of the fucking place comes down on top of my head. sell because I'm gonna need more ammo when this is all done I'm gonna be using a lot of it probably out in the beginner zones grinding away again so what was the thing about independence I don't mean I think uh and I, I don't mean I let me rephrase that because again my neighbors are like this guys seriously this is just messed up um I think that uh being reliant on people Especially those who really need you to be reliant on them. Like you got an elderly family, and let's say it makes them feel good to to help you out and stuff like that. I think that's great. I think you know if you can be that kind of an asset to people, I think that's that's wonderful. You know, uh, let them make dinner for you, or breakfast, or let them um, you know let them do your laundry. Nightmare's not over yet. Safety. You gotta be kidding me with the safety. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> that one I own, because... how bad my health was on that one, so I own that one, guys. I'm not sure what my saved game left off at. I don't know what that's at, 
those magazines. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. You guys said don't reload, but I'm running low on everything. I don't want to use my 556 five, anymore until I need to. <sighs> this constant rearrangement of the backpack is beyond annoying. I dare say fucking annoying. center building. I wonder if I even need to bother going in here. Oh, 
that's a no. Hey! Good shot if I don't say so myself. Hey, motherfucker. Don't run, because you'll just die tired. Whoa! <laughs> now I'm just taking this game serious, like, like silly. Like, I'm just not even gonna fucking sweat it anymore. <laughs> it's just crazy. Between my backpack, doing whatever the hell it wants to do. And the supply of creatures. All right, just did a quick time check there, guys. So I don't even need to come in this damn fucking building. Look at these guys. Screw this shit. I'm gonna go back to the main building, the center building, where the actual mission is. To say? Nope. All right. Oh, you pieces of shit. You pieces of shit. You're going to make me go all the way around, aren't you? Doesn't help. What the fuck is this? Is this... <gasps> what is this?
mean, what the hell, right? It couldn't hurt. Stash. Save some of my other ammo. breakfast for you. Oh, there's no way through that. Oh, is this a dead end? Oh, I should choose that word carefully. that center building, that's where my gold is. There's the outer wall. Check guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I say we're back because uh, essentially I was not playing this game for about a week. So right now is a week after the last time I was playing. So I'm hoping to get reacclimated here pretty quick on what I was doing. I was chasing down that bracelet, and I was talking about independence. So, I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I realized looking at the previous recording that it's kind of too late. This video is already very long. So, from this point forward, I'll see what I can do to abbreviate things. Like condense, condense them down a little bit. Now, for clarity, for, for not clarity, but for, for to be open about the gameplay and stuff like that. I just watched a friendly pest play this zone. So I already kind of knew what was going on where. Come on. Seriously with this. <laughs> what do I got? A bunch of magazines. And a little pistol.
confirm a shortage of sour cream cheese and several types of berries. Someone steals right from the warehouse. The watchman didn't see anything. I think it's one of the workers. Such a disgrace after receiving state awards. We'll try to look into the theft on our own for now. Yeah, food thieves. You gotta love them. You know, I had roommates. This goes back to the self-efficiency talk, uh, being being self-reliant that I was talking about. You know, if, uh, the, 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 God, the game. Um, see, I think this is all surplus. Yeah, I don't want this. Right, so we got a mimic in there. Yeah, so, you know, you even if you're living with people, you want to try to be a, a bit on the self-reliant side because, you know, when you're not, you're taking from somebody, right? You're taking from somebody. Somebody has to give up something for you to have. Oof. There you go, Walker. Hey, buddy. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the shotgun's pretty nice, actually. I don't know about the scope on there. It's kind of... I dump this thing. <laughs> that was stupid. All right, leave it there. And I saw another. Oh, 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 yep, yep. I don't know where he is, though. Guys, where is he? Uh, okay, BTR, you can go away. You're making too much noise. actually my second region in my entire gameplay. Oh, that's the objective, guys. The objective. Now the real question is, do we waste our time? No, we're not wasting our time. We are going to die, though, if we keep running into those anomalies. Dudes. <sighs> okay. I'm going 
I love the loot and stuff like that. Came for a mission. We got the mission. Let's confirm. Yep, right there. We're not too badly weighted, actually. So if we find the opportunities to loot on the way out. That was interesting. Uh, but we completed a mission in one of the worst places based on a lot of criteria. A lot of people. Based on a lot of feedback. A lot of folks really hated this greenhouse. So yeah, being... Um, Find a way, if you can, in your life to be reliant on as little people as possible. Because there may be a day when someone's going to need you, right? And I guess that's my long-winded, long, you know, on and off point again, is to basically, to be an asset to the world, you kind of have to be an asset to yourself, right? You have to be reliant on, on, on yourself. You have to be able to rely on yourself. If you don't have a certain skill set, learn a certain skill set a skill set right you don't uh know how to fix your car man there's a million youtube videos on how to fix your car if you can afford some parts learn how to fix your car and get to it you know um you know something that's costly i would say maybe don't risk right don't just jump into the transmission and start going crazy if you never done the transmission before I hear a teleporter. I heard that. Um, so yeah, the more independent you can make yourself when the time comes. And I'm not saying if. I'm saying when the time comes. And someone may need to rely on you. Right? Or you want to help somebody. If you're independent. Whether it's independent and wealthy. Independent with your skill sets. Whatever it is you can be. You can assist somebody. So for instance, I have some knowledge of cars. Not a great amount of knowledge. But enough to do basic maintenance and kind of keep somebody from having to go to a uh, mechanic every five minutes, you know, oh, now I need brakes. No, I can do brakes, right? Oil changes, stuff like that, uh, spark plugs and all the solenoids and everything else that go along with it. It's actually, and I know people who are mechanically inclined are going, that's easy stuff. Easy for people who are mechanically inclined or people who've done it and have some knowledge. But if you've never done it and someone just says, hey, go in there and change this and this and this, you know, that might be that might be daunting for somebody, right? So you got to be real careful with how you go through life, trying to rely on just other people to do everything for you, because there may be a day when there ain't going to be anybody around, right? Or maybe you, maybe you burned all those bridges. Yeah, that's the that's the thing I want to say, and, I, and I'm trying to make the message as positive as possible, and, and, and I'll do it in this way. You can do any of the things you really want to set your mind to, right? You want to set your attention to. A lot of times it's just about spending the time to do it. I've heard plenty of people say, well, I can't this, I can't that. Well, why can't you? Analyze that, right? Have a, have a real heart to heart with yourself and say, why? Why can't I do that? It's because you just haven't bothered trying? Let's see if I can snipe that guy from the corner. Have you um, right, never tried? Have you have you given up the idea of trying? I don't want that. Have you um, tried maybe once and failed? And just gave up on it from that point on? I don't know. All I know is... Jeez, like the ash burst keeps coming. All I know is, you know... I hate to say it doesn't hurt the try because it actually it does. It can, right? It can hurt the try. All right, so. Oh my god. 
We are right there. We're gonna see if we can find this last artifact. I just want extra money. somebody now. Yeah, this is where I died before. Oh, hi, Mr. BTR. Jesus, I didn't realize you were going to be right there. That means there's more than one in there. What the hell are you just sitting at? Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, 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 that was nice. Oh. So we're back from that death. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that last artifact's just gonna have to wait. Uh, my ego right now cannot suffer any more deaths. We're gonna escape. I'm gonna check over here real quick, make sure I clean this thing out. I'm pretty sure I did. We have to see if I can stop and eat some food. So before my death, I was talking about independence and all that kind of stuff, and then I got cocky and I decided, yeah, I'm going to go take out some bad guys and waste some more ammo that I don't really have. Blah, 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 blah. And I need to stop doing that. Let's just get my mission done and get out. Mission done, get out. All right, this is loot because we're going to need money. And I can always do grind runs for money. Oh, look at this thing. So, yeah, I, 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 I can't, see the problem I run into is I can't speak for everybody's life. I can't say your life is this and you should do this because I don't know everybody. I don't know what you're doing or what you're involved in. I know some people. Oh. And, uh, and I can say that um, for some people that I do know, especially if I know them personally, um, I can tell you that uh, I know you can do better in your life. I can do better in my life. Um, and I think we should. I think we should try to be better people as far as not just not just how we treat each other. Obviously, that's a given, right? That's almost cliche at this point. And I mean, almost. I mean, it is cliche at this point. I think uh, we should be better to ourselves. And we should treat ourselves better. And we should learn more. And we should be more independent and all this kind of stuff. So the steps. I'm talking about the steps. So the steps being independent. What are your, what are your deficiencies, right? You don't know how to take care of a car, but you rely on that car every day for work? All right, well, do what you can to learn all the basics. Handle what you can, because the more things you are able to handle, oh, look at those hiding inside the box. Oh, it's hiding inside the box there too. They're useless. The more things that you can handle, the more things that you don't have to spend money on someone else doing for you, right? If you can't do it, someone else has to do it. So either someone has to take time out of their lives, 
to do it, which, if they're your friend and stuff, that's, well, most of the time, that's not a problem. Oh, God, that's for that stupid shotgun. Right? That's not a problem for good friends and stuff like that. But, I mean, how many people can you bug on a daily basis about things? And, and, and even a friend won't even, meta, ha, English, even a friend won't look at it necessarily as bugging them, right? A good friend will say, you know what? You're not bugging me. Ask me for help. I'm like that with my friends. My friends know, please ask me for help if you need it. Because I will be there for you and I would rather know that you needed help and you asked for it and you got it than to find out later that for, for whatever reason, you never asked for help. Oh yeah, there's a house over here. And then, and then you needed it and then maybe it was too late. Or maybe things got worse, right? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe something that could have been a simple solution turns into a, a very difficult one because you just you delayed. Um, come, come to me. What is this? Oh, subsonic. Anyways, uh, da, 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 I've been here a few weeks and I don't know where I am. And you know what? Some days I feel like that too. So I'm kind of going back and forth on my topic here, and I really should try to focus the best I can, but I'm not able to, because every time I turn around, there's something shiny. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, I did need that after all. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so down on... Uh... You know, smoking is bad for you, but there are times where I do miss it a little bit. I do miss it. You know, for smokers, a lot of times a smoke break is, uh, it's a tranquil, it's a tranquil moment. What is this? Can I open this? Oh, see, that'd be cool as hell if I can open that. So it's, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to the guys here because they all understand. You know, for guys, it's a, it's a moment on the bathroom or in the bathroom, right? It's a moment of peace and quiet, especially when you have a family and everything. Um, to just take a moment and kind of maybe read or just kind of find a moment for yourself. The women are always like, guys, you're in the bathroom for so long. You know what? Don't take that away from us. <laughs> it's, it's, it may be the one small piece of solitude we have in a world full of craziness going on. You know, the bathroom. It's the one place that nobody's going to come looking for you, right? Nobody's going to bug you in the bathroom, generally speaking. Generally speaking, no one really bugs you in the bathroom. So, um, that's kind of, oh, jeez, I missed all these. What the fuck? You come here. Oh, that's right. I'm glad I came back in here. I remember there was something in here I wanted to come back and get. Six bucks. So, oh my god, how did I walk? Man, I was in the middle of so much action. Right past all this stuff. I know I got the, the magazine. I don't care about the piss covered bullets. We'll skip those for right now. Uh, you know, we can use a knife, I guess. We'll just take a knife. Kidniff. All right. 357. I think that's my first actual box of 357 I've ever got. Um, yeah, we're going to two fist this sucker out of here. <laughs> I don't have a magazine or ammo for it. Uh, let's do this. Did I, give, did I ever get any shotguns? Oh my god, guys. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's such a mess. Uh, I don't think I did. I don't think I found any shotgun shells. Alright, well. I'm more likely to find shotgun ammo for this guy than ammo for this one. So we'll keep this one in the hand. An empty shotgun in a hand is worth more than one in a bush or something. I don't know. I got nothing. But it means we're going to have to do a lot of this stuff. Hey. Hey. Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> Damn, game. Why you do me like that, huh? Why you do me like that? Really get it 
good chance to loot this place. Sometimes when you reload a game or... What the? Sometimes when you load a game or come back in from, you know, death or something like that. Kind of the same thing, really, but... Um, yeah, it'll respawn some of the creatures. Just checking over here, guys, because I haven't, I haven't checked this when I was coming through here last time. Now I just want to see if I miss anything. And then we're going to go straight out and get home with our loots and uh, our mission done. And then we're going to take grindy missions until they finally give us the story mission. What is this? More good than that does. AP, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Terrible, but it's nothing I can really utilize. All right. Let's get the frick out of here, guys. So as we're traveling and hopefully don't get distracted or attacked <laughs> or any of that kind of stuff, um, I can talk without uh, breaking up my sentences and going weird Shatner mode. Gotta be dramatic when you talk about important topics. Yeah, so I learned from a young age and I, that's the only reason why I bring up this independence. Sorry, sound like I'm maybe walking. Because, um, it has served me well to not have to rely on other people. And there's going to be a dude up here. Just watch. Just watch. No? Okay. All right, for once, I got a, I got a break. Uh, because, um, you know, I had a, a family that taught me that kind of stuff. And it wasn't like they were the greatest, greatest family in the world, trust me. We got a lot of issues, a lot of things going on there. I'm not going to get into it because it, it's personal. And, uh, honestly, no one gives a shit, so... Everybody has, everybody has problems. Everybody has personal stuff in their life. Um, came to my attention recently that somebody, I'm not gonna go into any details, but somebody has some real personal stuff with their, with their family. And uh, I'm talking like life and death level of stuff. And I'm not in that position. So, um, you know, I, I feel horrible for this person and uh, it makes me not ever wanna complain about my life. And uh, something tragic recently happened to a really good friend of mine that I've known for decades. And we pretty much grew up together. And uh, some tragedy in her family, and I feel terrible. I don't know what to do. But um, my independence, in the sense of being resourceful, being an asset in many respects, allows me the opportunity, if she so desires that, that help or that assistance, whatever, it, it gives me the opportunity a tree yeah to help to be able to lend that assistance how can i lend assistance well if she just needs stuff moved around i got a pretty strong back right i, I can i can bench pretty good weights so i can i can pick things up and put them down right pick them up put them down that's not a brag it's just i've, I've always been a fairly strong guy and i've been working out since i was 44 years old so <sighs> eight years now i've been on and off working out and hitting the weights and losing weight and doing all that kind of stuff Went from 310 pounds down, and uh, like I said, I can bench a pretty decent amount of um, decent amount of weight and everything like that. So, um, so I'm a resource in that respect. I'm an asset. I can help. Um, I can lift heavy things. I can move heavy things, and that's what I mean by being independent, right? I don't need someone to do that for me, and because of that, because of my resilience. Um, I can help, I can lend that resource of myself to another person. So being resourceful, and I'm stopping for a second, guys, because I want to show uh, Friendly Pest. By the way, if I haven't mentioned it already, and I have, I'm sure, pretty sure I have, go to his channel, uh, Friendly, one word, uh, Friendly Pest. We have a Discord channel. We play a lot of VR multiplayer games, all that kind of fun stuff, if you're still watching this video at this point. So Pest, this is the crossing point. I just went across it. You don't have to swim all that kind of stuff. In fact, even by the bridge over there, I was able to go across uh, near the bridge, but not under the bridge or too close to the underneath the bridge without uh, any problems. Screw you, greenhouse. I hope I never have to come back here again. <laughs> so because, 
because of that level of independence, because of that level of, of, of being a resource or having a resource, which in this case is myself, um, I have that to lend. And I can, if I were wealthy, which I'm not, but if I had money, I would be a resource. I can, I can help someone. Someone's car breaks down and they don't have money. Guess what? They're a friend of mine. Hell, even if they're not even that close an acquaintance, I just, I know me. I'm just kind of a sucker. I will help them. I have actually in the past. You know, I've done things for people that really weren't, really weren't close friends. But because of the level of independence of my wealth, of my money I bring in, uh, I can, I can occasionally help somebody. I can do nice things. You know, I can pick up a game for another person on the Discord channel. Right? Not a big deal. Didn't, didn't break the bank, didn't cost me my rent money or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Back home. I'll wait to get past the door so I can continue talking. And please, guys, feel free to post down below your thoughts on this kind of stuff. I love having an engagement or a conversation. Is that? That is. <laughs> Check it out. It's <laughs> oh, this game. Yeah, and post your thoughts down there. I mean, for some of you older guys like me, uh, or even just guys in their thirties and stuff like that, like when did you become independent? When do you think you uh, you were able to to really kind of live on your own, be your own person, pay your own bills, and that kind of stuff? Like, what age were you when that happened? Um, and what did it? What was your catalyst? We're not giving out, obviously, personal details. What was your catalyst? What do you think was the thing that, uh, that made that happen? And, uh, you know, I cleaned all the ammo up, which is nice. Is that worth the money? 1700 Holy shit, we'll take it. You know, that did pretty good. I think I'm going to hang on to it. The downside to it is it's loud. <laughs> it's loud. Um... So yeah, um, yeah. Post down below when you think your 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 moment of independence came. Like, when did you think you you found yourself being able to just not have to? You know, I don't mean like when tragic events happen. Cause sometimes shit happens, and sometimes you're gonna have to go back and rely on people and stuff, right? That's just that's just a thing. Um, When did that happen for you? When did that become uh, a thing that you knew you're on your own now and you don't need somebody? Barring, again, any tragic events and stuff like that. Um, so I'm very curious about that. I'm always curious about people's lives and... Oh, this is the og. When did, uh, when did somebody became become uh, some high level of independent... When did they stop having to go, you know, run back to a home or, or rely maybe on a family member, you know, that kind of thing. So, long-winded short, guys, we completed this mission. And the greenhouse, well, we didn't finish the greenhouse, but we, we left it behind on purpose because uh, that fucking place is a nightmare. So we'll go ahead and complete the mission, and we'll close off the video here. If you have any... If you need some advice for some reason, I know you're talking about a bunch of total strangers on the internet, but if you just want someone to kind of toss you a direction, right? If you think you, you think you need something um, to give you some, like maybe try this or try that. Maybe maybe you have some ideas, but you're not sure how to begin pursuing the again the independence and that kind of thing. Maybe maybe post that, right? Or go to the Discord channel. The Discord channel is a great place for conversation. And, and talk to the folks there, you know, uh, you can DM me there, I'm, I'm Spike on there, so it's pretty easy to find me. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can have a conversation. I'll offer you my elderly wisdom. <laughs> it's just, just a bad idea. But maybe I'll say something that'll spark something, right? Maybe it'll say something that just gives you some inspiration and uh, starts leading you down that path. But the whole point, the final, final point I'm gonna make on this, guys, is we have to learn how to become as independent as possible. Life can't just be about enjoyment. We need to grow as people, period. We need to grow. We need to advance ourselves. Always be learning, including proper grammar. Always try to learn new things. Always try to learn something. Learn a language. 
learn, you know, learn a, a school topic, a subject. I'm terrible at math. I'll take my own advice. Learn some better math, right? Learn some more advanced mathematics. Learn Japanese that I've been finding, finally been <laughs> talking about doing forever, right? Nihongo ka wakaremasu is the only thing I know how to say in Japanese. And des, desna, or something like that, which is like, what? Um, uh, yugo ka wakaremasu is do you speak English? Nihongo ka wakaremasen is I do not speak Japanese, right? That's it. That, that is all I've ever learned after years of telling myself to learn Japanese. <laughs> and I'm sure I butchered every single part of that pronunciation. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Chaos Voices, will probably correct me on, on some of that pronunciation. But I, I figured if I said it fast enough, it would sound it would sound Japanese. I don't know. But that's my point, guys. Learn new stuff. Advance yourselves. Scare yourself. Put yourself in scary situations. You don't like speaking in front of people? Find opportunities to speak in front of people. Right? Find opportunities to scare yourself like the wipe is coming soon. That's going to be tragic. Play stuff that you never wanted to play before. You never know, right? I get a lot of people, oh, VR, but you don't know. Maybe VR is pretty cool. Maybe you'll love it. All right, enough of that shit. <laughs> I'll take it. That shit, sorry. All right, I'll see you guys. Take care. Welcome back. I got to tell you, that place kind of sucked. Did you send me there to die? Well... You did fill me with bullet holes. I thought we were over this. I'm not. Time to pay, you little... Ah, what the hell? Come here. My spleen. Ah, oh, stop shooting me. Wait till I get reloaded. Stop moving. Stop moving. No, you stop moving. I dropped my knife. Stop biting my leg! Bite my leg! Run.